Hey guys, Grady here. So, just taking a walk, you know, with Robert. Um, it's Monday. In two days it will be Halloween. So, you know, this is going to go up before Halloween. I'll make sure of that. When I get home, I'm going to start uploading it, as well as the other videos that need to go up. But, yeah, um couple days left before Halloween so you know I'm just you know making a vlog so you know in my last video I talked about how bad things are you guys have to understand when I talk about stuff like that in my videos it's because I care and if you don't like what I'm talking about then unsubscribe or unfollow if you really don't like it, then do that, okay? You don't have to watch my channel if you don't want to. It's not a requirement. It's not mandatory. It isn't. It's not mandatory at all. Um... And, you know, guys, things are getting really bad. People are telling me, oh, well, you shouldn't live in fear. Yeah, I shouldn't live in fear. And I also shouldn't have a president who's telling our allies to fuck off and giving them the middle finger. And then he's buddying up with North Korea. I shouldn't have a president who's doing that. But I do. So that makes me scared for my own safety. And it's really, you know, it's real bad. It's real bad stuff. I mean, that doesn't seem to bother anybody except me, which is really weird. Like, it's really weird. I don't want, Trump is already a dictator as it is. I don't want him buddying up with other dictators, you know? It's horrible. Dictators are horrible people. Trump is a horrible, horrible person. I can't, I can't stand him. He makes, I can't even look at him, he makes me sick. But Kim is worse. Kim Jong-un is worse. And, you know, with Trump going around saying, you know, yeah, he's a wonderful guy. He should be praised like a god, you know, that frightens me. But it doesn't frighten you. For, why are you not frightened by that? You know, Kim is just using him as a toy to get what he wants, which is to get us destroyed or get us into a war. That's what Kim wants. That's what scares me, guys. I don't want Trump... I mean, a guy who's proven to not be very smart. I don't want him at all associating with North Korea at all. I don't want him negotiating or even talking to Kim. I don't want, quite frankly, I don't really want any president to do that. Let countries who can actually defeat North Korea, such as Japan, do that, okay? We could not defeat North Korea. People say we could, really? Have you, have you been to North Korea? Like, do you know how powerful their weapons are? I don't think you do. No, I haven't been to North Korea. Then again, people aren't really allowed to go there. So, you know, we don't know how powerful their weapons are, how powerful their military is. We need to stop saying that the U.S. has the most powerful military we, because we, we haven't been to every country in the world. We don't know. You know? Guys, this is a big problem for me, but it's not a problem for you. I don't understand why. Like, I'm scared, guys. I'm scared, okay? Every day when I go to work, I think, am I going to come home to my family being alive? Seriously, that's what I think because it's gotten that bad that I think, you know, is North Korea going to attack before I get home from horrible. I shouldn't have to think that every single day, but I do. 
because this is a huge problem. It isn't a huge problem for you. You guys just don't care, you know? You're like, oh, well, that's the guy I voted for, and I'm proud of everything he's doing. And Really? You, you want to be friends with North Korea? Really? You want us to be friends with a guy who has, who it's been proven, who has had his own family members shot? Real, really? That's who you want to be your, really? There's something really wrong there. There is something really fucked up about that. Excuse my language. But that's really, like, you really need to start paying attention to what's going on in North Korea. It's horrible. Guys, you have to understand, hell would be paradise to North Koreans, okay? North Korea is worse than hell, okay? There is no country in this world, on this planet, that is worse than North Korea. Not one. We are a very close second now because we want to be allies with North Korea, but there is no country that is worse than North Korea. And this bothers, guys, this bothers me. Okay, this bothers me. You know, North Korea is not really denuclearizing. They aren't, they aren't. The video they put out about that, that was fake. Okay, that was fake. There's no denuclearization going on over in North Korea. There's none, okay? You really need to read about what life is like for North Koreans, and you need to watch videos about people who have been lucky enough to escape and flee North Korea. Gosh, you guys think the people who escaped from Cuba and Russia had a bad time? <laughs> Clearly, you've never heard stories about North Korean escapees. Cuba and Russia would be paradise to North Koreans as well, okay? Cuba doesn't have that problem anymore. In fact, I don't think Russia does either. But North Korea has had this problem for, you know, like seven decades, and it's going to continue to have this problem. This is, guys, this is not something that's cool, okay? This is something that's scary. This is something that frightens me. And quite frankly, you should be bothered by it too. And you guys can say, oh, well, uh, there's more important stuff. Well, no, there isn't, guys. This is a big problem. I don't want to live in a country who, that has a leader who wants to be best friends with the worst country in the world. I don't want to live here. Um, I want to renounce my citizenship entirely. When I move up to Canada, I'm going to get rid of my citizenship because I just, I just can't handle this. You know? You can have a capitalist dictator. I mean, look at us right now and look at, look at Brazil. Like, really? Their leader was pretty corrupt. They had the election yesterday. Don't know what the results were, but I'm hoping somebody more sensible got elected because this is a huge problem. You know, if, if they didn't get elected, you know, because Brazil needs help. Brazil is way more capitalist than we are, and Brazil is failing a lot worse than we are so you know this is a huge problem guys we need to help other places you can't you need to stop spreading hatred this isn't just a problem though you know with Trump supporters and it's not even just a problem with people in this country you know I have a customer from Poland who said you're gonna find a mixture of good and bad people everywhere. She said the nicest people she's seen are U.S. Americans, and I'm looking at her like, really? Is that is that what you think? Because uh, if you ask me, nicest people I've ever come across are Canadian Americans. U.S. Americans are some of the worst people I've ever had the displeasure of meeting and knowing in my entire life. Honestly. They're the worst people I've ever come to know. 
the absolute worst. All they do is brag and boast about their fucking freedom. They show the absolute utmost disrespect to other countries. It's horrible. It's horrible. I don't, I don't want to associate myself with people like that, you know? Guys, the people from Russia, here's some beautiful nature too. The people from Russia, they are some of the nicest people in the world. You want nice people? Talk to Russians. Russians are really nice. But guys, look, I'm not, I know in that last video I was upset, but it's true and I still am. Like I still am. Remember, I say this stuff because I care about you and I'm concerned for your safety and my safety. I am, I'm very concerned for it. You guys may think I'm not, you guys can say whatever. Oh, well you're just a liberal or whatever. Well, okay, I am now. I was raised Republican. You have to understand that. You can't tell me what party I identify with and you can't tell me what I can or cannot talk about in my videos. This is my channel. I can talk about whatever the hell I want. But seriously guys, I'm not going to spread hatred towards you. And I encourage you to do the same as I'm doing. Be nice to everyone. You know, it doesn't mean that in general you can't hate. It doesn't. I mean, you know, I hate Trump, but I don't just like, you know, go out there and say to everybody, oh, well, you should all hate Donald Trump. You know? I don't. People can have their own opinions, but the facts are that Trump is not a good person. Of course, Fox News doesn't want you to see that. I'm sorry, did I say Fox News? I meant Fox Channel, because it isn't news, it isn't news. It's just opinionated shit that's just crazy shit, Rudy Giuliani shit. That's all that Fox News is. You know? You're not a bad, I'm not calling you guys bad people, but really, like, I listen you know, I take the time to listen when Trump supporters talk, you know, and they're like, oh yeah, Trump's doing all these great things, you know, when they talk about that. I listen to them. You don't listen to other people. I encourage you to listen, because you might learn something. Instead of just saying, oh no, that's all bullshit. Don't do that, okay? It's going to turn people away from liking you or being near you. Even if they're your friends and they support Trump, you know? It's going to turn people away from you. That I, I may not be a people person, guys, but still. Doesn't mean I don't like people. Because I do like people. I care about them. You know, and we need to... We need to realize that there are so many people on this planet that's like... It's crazy, guys. It is. It's crazy. We have so many people on this planet... But you're not, you're not a bad person, you know? You aren't. You're not a bad person just because you voted for Donald Trump. I don't care what people say. That doesn't make you a bad person, you know? I don't call, you know, and you should not call people bad people because they voted for Hillary Clinton, okay? Peop there are people out there who don't like Trump. Get over it. Okay, get over it. You're not going to change their mind. But I encourage you to listen to them and be nice to them and don't attack them. Be polite, okay? Be polite. Be brutally honest, but be polite. Do not attack others. That does not help. I'm telling you this because I care about you. But anyways, guys, like, really, that's gonna, you know, mark it for this video. And, you know, I'm still living in fear. And I don't want to hear any of you say, you know, oh, well, don't live in fear. You live in a great country. I disagree, and I will disagree for the rest of my life. And I am glad that I will not live in this country for the rest of my life, the country that shall not be named. Okay? I am so glad 
that I'm not going to live here for the rest of my life. That's going to mark it for this video. Just remember, guys, I do care. And that's why I do this, because I do care about you guys. But again, if you don't like what I'm talking about, if you are just going to be hateful, then unsubscribe. I don't care. I don't do this for subscribers, guys. I do this for enjoyment and entertainment. That's why I do it. Okay? Anyways, guys, I really hope you all have a peaceful day. I'm serious. You all have a peaceful day, okay? I mean that. Anyways, guys, I'll talk to you all later, okay? Thank you for watching. Bye.